Folks, this here is Mr. Lincoln's half of the suite. Yes, I did say half of the suite. So this is an entire suite here in which Mr. and Mrs. Lincoln each have their own particular room. A little unusual for us today that parents would have separate rooms, but in those days it showed off a little wealth of prominence for, uh, for Mrs. Lincoln to have her own room to the suite here. Pigeonhole desk here in the corner is Mr. Lincoln's. Gives you a little understanding about the man, who he is, what he represents. It's a tiny little desk. We think that a man as president of the United States would have a bigger desk than that. Gives you a little understanding that Mr. Lincoln really never did forget who he was and where he came from. Very poor, humble beginnings. In this very room, I'm sure there were many sleepless nights in this very room after Mr. Lincoln was elected president. There were many struggles. The country was in turmoil. It was literally falling apart. For about three, three and a half months after Mr. Lincoln was elected president, he's living here in this house prior to him being sworn in. And he will watch the country literally fall apart. He'll receive a Christmas gift that year. He'll receive notice that the very first state has decided to succeed. He'll start a domino effect over the next couple months before he's actually sworn in, seven states will leave the Union. And they're all leaving because of his election. Had to have been pretty tough on Mr. Lincoln to know that the states were leaving because of his election to the presidency. From here, we're gonna make our way into Mrs. Lincoln's room We'll take a, take a moment and look around at her things. 